to start off with a Johnny Cash number entitled I Walked a Line. I keep my pants up with a piece of twine. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. I keep the ends out for the ties that bind. If you are mine, please pull the twine. How about Davy? Davy caught it and gave it to the whole frontier. We had a guy come in here the other night. I got to tell you about this. Guy had a little speech impediment. What the hell? Walked up to the bartender, he said, Hey! Hey! Hey, give me a cotton soda, will you? Bartender said, Cotton soda, come right up. Guy said, Hey, I'm here, my buddy. You make fun of me. Bartender said, No, I talk like this. Guy said, Do you really? He said, Certainly, listen. Mm. Bart the customer said, Damn, ain't that amazing? So do I. <laughs> so, here come another guy. Hey, bartender, just give me a bourbon and coke. Bartender said, bourbon and coke coming right up, sir. Other guy said, hey, Marty, come here. Said, I thought you were making fun of me. Guy said, I ain't. I make fun of him. <laughs> How do you feel tonight, Carol, okay? Feel after last night, is that a, okay? Carol had a little harrowing experience last night. Driving down I-75 in her little 55 Chevrolet with the snow tires on the front. She's driving down, driving down the expressway, and she runs out of gas. So she gets out of her car, gets her gas can out of the trunk, and she starts walking up the ramp towards the, towards the uh, Phillips 66 down there. When an old boy jumped out of the bushes on her, at her, said, Psst, Hey, lady, hey, you seen any cops around here? She said, No, I haven't. He said, good, stick him up. It's here to damn stick up. Give me all your money, lady. She said, I haven't got any money. He said, don't you lie to me. I know where you let waitresses keep your money. And he reached down in her blouse and he went. <laughs> Still got the feeling, eh? Okay. <laughs> she can't get it out of her system, huh? <laughs> so he says, damn, ain't nothing there but a bunch of damn cotton. He said, I know where you got it hidden. He reached down below and he went. He said, damn, ain't nothing there but a bunch of cotton. <laughs> Lint, duster, sand or something. <laughs> she, he says, well, baby, I guess you ain't got no money. She said, don't stop now, I'll write you a check. <laughs> okay, listen, if you ever drive, drive up from Florida, you know you gotta come through the wonderful, gorgeous state of Georgia, right? right. What a pain in the ass, okay. <laughs> I'm driving up. <laughs> That's all right, guy. <laughs> I love Georgia where it is. We don't want it up here. No, it's a nice, it's a nice state. They got a wonderful governor down there. Anyway, I'm driving up from Florida and I'm going through Georgia, see, and all of a sudden I hear this siren come along and go, and I looked over and there's a Georgia state trooper. Did you ever see one of them suckers? Oh, I'm gonna tell you, these are the biggest guys in the world. And this guy gets out of the car, and that was just one leg. He stood up and he must have been about nine foot tall. Weighed about 480 pounds. You probably seen his brother on a pecan. <laughs> Stand there looking at me like this. <laughs> looking at me real ugly. Come over to my car and lean down on my door and went, crunch. He said, poor buddy. He said, you're doing six to mile an hour and a one mile an hour back up so. Hey, I wasn't gonna argue with him. I said, yes, sir, officer, you got me. I was doing 60 mile an hour, and that wasn't one mile an hour back. I'd seen it back there. He said, shut up, boy. He said, what's your name? I said, Ron Stewart. He said, that sure is a dumb name. I said, you're right, officer, but you see, my daddy and my mommy gave me that name. Once. He said, I told you, shut the hell up, boy. He said, where are you from? I said, Cincinnati. He said, I'm gonna give you a damn ticket for lying, too. You got on Ohio plates. <laughs> and he commenced to going like this, see? There's some bugs was bugging him, see? He's going, damn. He said, where in the hell them, where in the hell them bugs? He said, we're far, too far north for them damn love bugs. He said, where, 
What kind of bugs are you? You know what kind of bugs them are, boy? I said, yes, sir, if you pardon me, sir, but those are circle flies. <laughs> what? I said, those are circle flies. What the hell are circle flies? I said, well, sir, those are flies that circle around a horse's ass, and then they sit down. <laughs> you trying to tell me something, boy? Oh, no, sir, I ain't trying to tell you nothing. I wasn't trying to insinuate that those really are circle flies, and they do circle, and I wasn't trying to insinuate. No way, officer. All right, boy. But those flies sure are hard to fool. <laughs> That's it, Damon. I'm going to give you a ticket. Now, you take this here book, and you take this here pencil, and you write what I tell you, and don't you try to fool me, boy. <laughs> Stopped at the White Castle the other night over here in Norwood. The cook over there with some wildwood flour frying hamburgers. <laughs> Little picking and singing. Da, da, da. <laughs> White a spatula. Oh, God. Scratching a little bit, you know. Hey, two chili burgers are going, yeah. Here come an old dumbass hillbilly. Walked up to the cook with a two-by-four in his hand. Poked that cook in the rear end with a two-by-four and said, hey, buddy, hey, give me all your money. It's here to damn stick up. <laughs> cook looked at that guy and said, get the hell out of here. He said, what are you doing? You can't hold this place up with a two-by-four. Are you crazy? Biff! He said, I told you, give me all your money. It's a stick up. Hit him upside the head like that, you know. Cook run over that damn catch register, get all that money out, said, here, take it, buy yourself a gun, you're gonna kill somebody with that damn board. 